you guys. It's good to see you. It's been been about a month since we last saw each other. Right. And you're the second band now to come and chat in here. Two days ago, I had set it off. Oh, right so so now it's you guys. So how, you're how does it? Yeah, that's right. I, I I wanted to start big to see how it goes, yeah, and then, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. But the first thing uh, that you pointed out outside, which you guys all decided to arrive in separate cars. Right. Yeah. So we all we like we got really rich during Warp Tour. Mm-hmm. Now we all have personal drivers. Yeah, mm-hmm. understandable. That's why I've got it's there all in Beamers. You have I a coffee for each hand. I noticed two coffees because mm-hmm. like I couldn't decide if I wanted like shitty coffee or good yeah. not coffee. And <laughs> now that I'm rich, I can have both. New Us has coffee for every extremity. <laughs> That's the important thing. You have it for every emotion, for every situation. Right. You have coffee. But what have you guys been up to since Warp Tour ended? Oh, man. Uh, the guys went out to UK and or Europe for a did while. Did you miss it because of your arm? I did. I had to miss it. Dude. Unfortunately, I didn't get to go. But fortunately, the one person that was able to replace me. I, I was going to say, I saw that Mikey That's played bass for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Mikey. Right there. Right. <laughs> there uh, are you, were you guys My Chemical Romance fans oh, yeah. Yeah. growing yes. up? Favorite My Chemical albums, Huge. each of you. Black Parade. Uh, three, three, three Cheers. Yeah, Three Cheers was mine too. They were the first band I ever saw in concert. Yeah. Black Parade. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, guys. So, <laughs> no, but they're awesome. So how did that happen that you guys ended up doing that? I saw that he also ended up doing bass for Good Charlotte out there, right? Mm-mm. For, oh, it, for, for In Reading, he did. For, yeah, like, In Reading. Lifestyles of the Rich and the Famous. Oh, did he do it multiple shows with you guys then? All the shows? He played, yeah. yeah. Oh. Except for like the first one or two. First two. First two. He, like, we did, it was just us two, which is mm-hmm. weird as hell. And then... It's really funny to watch, though. <laughs> I love it. And then, I watched like the last two shows, the Warped Tour. Oh, oh no! That's when you broke that your was arm. bad because like we weren't prepared at all. <laughs> and um, so, how did you make that work on Warp Tour? Because by the way, your guitar, your lead guitar, correct? Right. Yeah. So, but then, but then also, like, I don't play during verses or anything normally. Or like, there's a lot of parts where I don't play, mm-hmm. and like, I really just like do like choruses and like maybe like a bridge or whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, and it's like I know the part, I knew the parts and everything for the most part. I mean, I still have to like refresh my memory. But it was things I've never played and sung at the same time. And then I got up there. I was like, oh, there is a guitar here. And I'd be like, ah, and, and You can't really practice on Warp Tour. Like, nah, before you really no. hit the stage. No, because by the time you're done during the day, you're just like, kill my face. <laughs> yeah. But So how did it come that Mikey Way was going to be um, your bassist? I was talking to Joel about it because we... Um, uh, it was like play, playing as a two piece is weird as hell. We did it like for one day to see how it would go, and I was like, dude, that was weird. <laughs> and then we had to do two more days of it, and I was like, dude, this is really weird. And I was like, we shouldn't do this like at Reading and Leeds, like these big festivals. And he was like, well, let's let's figure out um, like another person we can bring, and um, like to kind of like fill out the sound, fill out the stage, like you know. And Mikey already knew most of the songs because he recorded on our EP cluster. Mm-hmm. He did the bass for it. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, That's sorry. actually really cool. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to apologize. Oh, no. But <laughs> that's uh, really cool. I had no idea. Yeah, it's like he already knew the songs. And so it was kind of like, hey, dude. And like, it's, it's not and like... Was we, he out there or did, you, did he get flown out to no, do we, that? we like flew him Oh, out cool. There. And um, so... <laughs> <laughs> he drag. He wants to meet everybody. He's so sweet. But so that but that happened to work out. And how come you guys? Because you're a three piece band. Right. My second favorite three piece band, Blink One Eighty Two, being the first. Mm. But that's a great close second, guys. Yeah, no, that's I'll, that's I'll pretty impressive. That's that. pretty I'll good. That. Yeah. So how did it come to where you guys have two guitarists as opposed to a bassist and guitar? Like, why, when did you guys act having a fourth member? How did um, that? We've just always had trouble with bass players. Like, well, and it hasn't been just this band. It was like things that they had been in together I'm before. Cursed. I think, yeah, he's just like... Just like Mike Kimmel's with drummers. Right. They're yeah. cursed so, with the drummers. You guys are cursed with the bass. it's kind of my fault. Yeah. Uh-oh. Are you beating the bass players physically? Okay, what I... Okay, so... <laughs> oh, no. Um, I've been in bands since I was, like, 13, right? And so in my first band, um, <laughs> I... It was all... Like, every band I've been in except for one has been a three-piece. I think maybe because people don't like me. I can't keep people around. Is there something about you I don't know? Oh, so many. So, in this band, <clears throat> the drummer and I were best friends, and I sang and played guitar. And um, what we would do is we'd get bass players, and we'd just like fuck with them. <laughs> and like that would always be the person we just like did like really dumb stuff to, and then eventually we'd kick them out. And that was all part of the plan. Yeah. To bring them in temporarily and then to boot them eventually? And we kicked out like in the low teens of bass players. And so that's why I think I'm cursed because every band where I've tried to actually like do okay 
or whatever, starting at like age like 16 or 17 or whatever, <laughs> they all have had trouble with bass players. And I've actually tried to keep these ones around. But you cursed yourself earlier on in life right. by creating such a negative so, relationship. Yeah, because every time we've had any kind of bass players, so like we, we used to have friends fill in for us. Mm -hmm. Like, cause I mean, all our friends are musicians or whatever, pretty much. And um, like all the ones that decided to be doctors don't really like fuck with us anymore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> They're all off being doctors. Right, saving lives. <laughs> Um, We're saving ears. Sorry, just on yeah. table. Actually, ruining ears <clears throat> um, <laughs> from the loud music, not because it's bad music. It can be both. Because be of loud, the loud, bad, bad music. <laughs> oh, by the way, I was at the gym yesterday and I was just listening to uh, it's a cluster the whole time. Oh, it was nice. really it was a good workout jam. Thank you. Dude, the new album's got some workout jams. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. So wait, tell me. I guess we were wrapping up the bass stuff. I think sorry, you pretty sorry, well sorry. covered it though. You, yeah, you yeah, pretty yeah. well covered it to where you cursed yourself mm, for right. life. And I'm guessing you guys didn't screw around with Mikey while he was out with you though. No, no Mikey's was... such a sweetheart. We've never fucked with Mikey. Yeah, he's great. But the new CD is coming out, Double Dare. Mm -hmm. And wait, so the cover, what is it? Is this grenade on top of, is it grapes? So or is not it... going to specify what fruit they are. There's a grenade it's on there, yes. and it blends in with the purple <clears throat> fruit below it. So yeah, tell me about this CD. What can people expect? Is oh, the first full length. Uh, yeah, it is, is this your guys' for any bands that you've ever right. been in? Is this all your first full lengths you've album. ever done? Yeah. This yeah. is Jeff's first band. Isn't that fucked up? Oh, can, I say, yeah. I, can I say it? What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> can I <put> say <laughs> yeah, you're good. Okay. Yeah. This is Jeff's first band. first band. He didn't have to go through any shitty, like... Well, okay. Well, he didn't have to go through like. What was the well? What happened? <laughs> no, I mean he's saying that we're shitty. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but he didn't have to go through like those like growing pains of like figuring out your own shit. And are you guys all just from the same area? Yeah. Is that yeah, how you all found much. each other, kind of, and yeah. then just started playing music? Like I've always been like crazy about promoting, as far as like flyering, passing out CDs. Mm -hmm. And one time Otto got one for an old band, and that's how we met. Mm -hmm. Because he got a flyer for one of my old bands. And I met through an old bassist. There was a guy we had in mind who like we were, like I was trying to put everything. An together. actual bassist. Yeah. Well, well kind of. Actual, I was. But... He didn't do anything, and so I was like, I'm gonna teach you bass, and you're gonna be in the band that I'm making. Because I was like, he was like my friend. He was like, okay. And he just didn't really learn. The curse, it followed. Except I met Jeff through him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's convenient. So it worked right. out to where you guys all... So it's like, I mean, the bass player didn't work out because of the curse, but I got Jeff out of it. And so it was a kind of fair trade-off, I guess. Come on, you want to come up? There you go, man. <laughs> but so the first full length is coming out. I'm sure that's a big deal for you guys. And you guys have released one song. Is it uh, crazy for you? Stupid, Stupid for you? It's <laughs> a good interviewer, right? But uh, so wh why was that the first song that you guys uh, put out from that CD? Because... It's the only one where, like, when I was demoing in my room, where my parents came in asking to hear it. So that was the one that they heard? Yeah. I mean, like, they, like, I mean, I would assume they heard other ones happening, but they're like, this sounds really good. Will you play it? And I was like... <laughs> if the parents approve, then you know you're right. on to something. We just want to win over the... Like, okay, we get it. If your age is, like, 13 to, like, 25 or whatever, we've got you. <laughs> we want your parents. We just want the parents. We want your dads, moms we want your dads. moms, we want your weird uncle you don't really talk to that much. Bring the grandparents in, yeah, maybe? Exactly. The, the older demographic is the one that you really want the exactly. approval when from. People send videos of their uh, their grandparents like nodding along to our music, like we'll get those tweeted at us sometimes. They'll be like or like Man, those get instantly reached. I'm just like, oh <laughs> hell yeah! Like, by the way, I noticed you're verified on Twitter and you're not. Yeah, I asked what that to be. Ah, oh, but you're verified on Instagram now. Right, I couldn't control that one. <sighs> all right, all right, fair enough. I, was, I didn't even know that was happening until I think Phoenix and I was like walking around and then it said verified. You're like, you, and I was why like, can't I wipe this blue thing off my screen? Like, Man management was talking to us about it and they were like, so we're going to like verify you guys. I was like, don't. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want it yet. So you requested not to be verified. Right. Oh, why not? I did too, but for some reason it just happened. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh. I don't like, I would always just hate whenever, I mean, I still hate. When, um, when I guess hate's a strong word. But I really, really, really don't like it. Right. I kind of slurred that towards the end. I was like, really, <laughs> really, really. really. Notification saying like, so and so followed you. And you're like, who is this? And you go look and it's like some nobody that's that like. Yeah, that's verified. Yeah. Right. And you're like, great. I'm glad I got this notification from this fucking DJ that's following 600,000 people. That's, and yeah. And that's what it. one thing, that's what my brother told me. Was that guy? PewDiePie? Do you guys know PewDiePie? The yeah. YouTube guy? Yeah. He like unverified his Twitter because he was so sick of verified people yeah. trying to get his attention by like mm -hmm. blasting yeah. him and yeah. trying to do yeah. that, that stuff. That makes sense. Yeah. That's really, uh, it's, I, I would probably do that. Yeah. It sounds like you already did without it before it even happened. So right. um, let's circle back for the 40th time to the new album coming out. <laughs> right, so, right. New album. so there's a full length coming out. Yes, there is. Uh, Double Dare. Mm -hmm. what, what are you guys stoked for about this album? I know that you told me like over Warped where you were so anxious to get out and start playing some of these songs. Yeah. Um, so Dude. what are you guys looking forward to? It's 
<laughs> Silence. There's actually. There's... I'm trying to pick which thing I'm most excited about. Yeah. Like the thing is, I just want people to hear it, really, because mm. it's at least to me, and I think to us in general, by far like the best thing we've done. Yeah. And it's the most eclectic thing we've had. Yeah. Since it's an album, we had more opportunities to like do a bunch of different stuff. How many songs are on it? Thirteen. Oh wow! So yeah, it's like so a we, full, we full length album. We weren't supposed to do that many, we were but to we came many. into the studio with like there were okay. Yeah, we I went in with like forty something yeah. completed demos. When did you guys go into the studio? When was that? Just before. It was tour. actually yeah. Um, the day before Warp Tour was like we had like twelve hours to like rest at home and then immediately. Oh, so it was like, literally right before Warp Tour. Like, you guys like, were we doing finished that. Wow. Like, like a day or two before Warp Tour started. Yeah. 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 We went out there like a month and a half before Warp Tour and then. Halfway through, we had to go to the UK and do the Slam Dunk Slam Festival Dunk and then the London oh, headliner. Right. And then finish the album and then immediately fly, get in a car and go to Dallas. Yeah. So were you guys getting like mixes on Warp Tour and stuff? Yeah, like, we were yeah. literally making notes on the road. I hated that. Oh, that would have been a whole extra job. But I'm sure that was also painful when you hear like a great song and you're like, oh my God, I want everyone to hear this. Dude, I'd yeah. run around the buses and if I found anyone I was friends with, I'd be like, dude, I want you to hear a thing. Like I remember harassing Nick from Sleeping With Sirens being like, dude, I want you to hear this. It was actually for Stupid For You. When I got the oh, first good. mix back, I was like, dude, you need to hear it. It's so cool. Like, I'm just like, oh, like, <laughs> you're like, I love it. He's like, yeah, dude, I'll check it out. I'm like on the phone right now. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I noticed you said you sh- looked around for friends to show songs to, and you were never backstage. I you're always didn't you're always get a. a no, I mean you can say what you need to, but <laughs> yeah, no, it's pretty black and white. So you guys are like a total kind of pop punk band. Yes, would you say that? I uh, wouldn't like to. Okay, but... what would you say? That's what your Wikipedia page has you classified as. I know, I know. Wikipedia also says you're in the band. Yep. Oh yeah, let's talk about that. So, on, <laughs> one day on Warp Tour, you guys came and signed with us, and I sat down and I signed with you guys, and then right. someone took the initiative to put me as the oh, as the uh, that's past why that member. Happened. I think so because that was right after, and kids started tweeting me. But then kids were serious. Did you see some of the tweets like Nick Major was in water parks? When did that happen? When, when, <laughs> when did he join the band? I didn't know that. Why did they kick him out? That's so funny. So, what do you guys got planned after this? Uh, the CD's coming out. What, what day is the CD out? November fourth. Okay, so you got a little bit until the CD comes mm-hmm. out. Some of these songs are like a year old at this point. Yeah. Some so h- how long ago? So some of these are demos. I'm guessing then that you guys had been writing for a long time. When well, did Cluster they, come out? Uh, Cluster came out uh, January. That was done in there's June of last year. Yeah. There's actually a song on there that was done before. Oh yeah, there's, there's one song. The uh, it's actually the opening track that was literally done before Cluster. Yeah. Oh, and it was like an older song that you guys had. Yeah, it was gonna be on there instead of. Uh, it was actually gonna be on Cluster instead of Territory. Yeah. And then the second track. And then you guys decided. What, what's the first song? Is it Christmas or whatever? To crave? Oh, okay. Crave. Just kidding. Crave. Christmas is the first track on our second EP, Blacklight. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I'm getting all the EPs mixed yeah, up yeah. now. Jesus. This time last year. What were you guys up to? Oh, actually, okay. This well, time last year we were practicing. We had just finished Cluster, and it was still pro- nobody knew we were signed yet. So we were literally still getting like, ready for the Black Cat tour. Well, we were like outside of locals, or not locals, we were like outside of shows, passing out flyers, and just yeah. being like a local band still. Like, hey guys, please check us out, check us right? Out. And um, so because nobody knew like what we, like, nobody well, we knew the Maddens had hit us up. Nobody knew we were signed. Nobody knew like we had the Crave video done. Nobody knew like all this stuff. So and last we, year everything was very frustrating because it was all like on yeah. the down low. We're just sitting there like, well, it's just kind of just the foundation yeah, of everything like, starting to happen. The most, most we could do was probably just try to pedal flyers and be like, "Excuse me, sir, have you heard the good word?" <laughs> yeah. Hello, my name is Otto. Yeah. <laughs> I play drums in this band. <laughs> but it's been a productive year, obviously, because then you guys did uh, Warp Tour. How was that for you guys? Your was, first Warp Tour was that pretty cool? It was, yeah. yeah, it was our second national tour. Yeah. Oh, that was only your second national tour. Yeah. yeah. And I gotta say, honestly, though, it was cool to see because versus the beginning of the tour to the end, you could definitely notice more kids coming out to your sets and stuff which yeah, that must neat. be pretty satisfying uh, as it's pretty cool as a new band for you guys coming out to see so it was a cool tour for you guys yeah, yeah, yeah it definitely was, it was really good um something i always wanted to do did you guys grow up going to warp tour yeah every year until yeah. this past year i went to it and then this year i still would have gone but we were playing it so I was like, <laughs> so you did go this year but you just yeah. did every single date what was the first year that you went do you remember i was uh The first year was um have, have you, wait no you don't live in Houston never mind I'm sorry no um, I was like remember the year then <laughs> but I know the year because I've been every year okay well it was the one with uh, the matches Coed and Cambria Newfound Glory Escape the Fate Paramore Chiodos Family Force so it was either 06 or 07 yeah it was, I think it was 06 oh, yeah would that be was right 06 because the one you always brag about is 04 hmm. I went to 05 yeah. but 04 who that was a killer one. What was that? Fall Out Boy? Fall Out Boy. My Chemical, My Chemical Romance. Romance. My Kim was on 05 as well. Yeah, yeah. 
And um, who else was the used? I think was on or was that oh five? No, that was oh four. Oh yeah, the used since his fail. Hey, it's okay, since his fail was on main stage then. That was really cool. Oh, that because that's when they would have been. That was like their okay. like when they were really really hot but for now you guys have to go to a mall like a mile and a half away from here so i'm gonna kick you out with my dog no you don't get to take him oh uh, why no 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 <laughs> he's you, looking you just, at you, you like, just what? said we could bring him though <laughs> but thanks for stopping by thanks for being my second I band in my, in my songs before we leave yes please do yeah, i hope you guys enjoyed the killer cereal yes. room with Your the, house the cereal killer, killer. Cereal room. <laughs> we have great cereal in you here guys have a killer cereal room <laughs> well cool water parks everyone pick up the new cd November fourth. Now. Double. T- no. November fourth. Now. Well, you can, it's Buy November. It. It's November fourth. It's in Target. Debatable. <laughs> <laughs>